What's up, YouTube Nation? Beautiful February day. Unbelievable. Letting the boat down. We're gonna go out there and fish. High of 50. Kind of chill in the air right now because we're here early in the morning, but we're gonna get out there, see what these fish are doing. The water is definitely going through a transition right now of warming up where it had been. And so it will be interesting to see what they're doing, but I could share, share some things right now. We're gonna be putting a, on this episode, we're gonna be using bait pop a lot. I got a variety of different colors that we're gonna go through and we're gonna talk about that. Is scent important? Is it giving you the edge? We're gonna talk about it. And uh, yeah, the bass cat is being lowered. So it's gonna be a good day. Gonna be a fantastic day on the water. So turning all the power on, that's the process. About five or six switches. Really easy though. Unplug the boat. We always, uh, we plug it in after every single guy trip, but if we forget, we got the lithium batteries to kind of fall back on in case we forgot or something goes wrong. Very important, lithium batteries, no doubt about it. Now, just because it's warm outside does not mean I don't wear my Windrider, because right now there's definitely a bite in the air. So I'm a big fan of the Hayward. If you don't know, you know now. Um, they do have a code if you guys want to take advantage of that. It's called three pound fishing, you get 10% off. They're already affordable without that code, but you can get an additional 10% off. And now I feel fantastic. So we we'll clean the boat up a little bit here. Then we're going to put the hammers to work uh, and then uh, catch some fish. Here we go. So the note. I always keep my bait pop right there in that cup holder. It's convenient for me, it's always there. Keep usually about two of them, uh, two variety of colors of those three. So we've got that bait that we actually just loaded up right there. That's the new light blue jig head at three pound fishing with a nice little white Chanel body. And we have that nice blue bait pop right on top of it. And we're searching. I can tell you one thing, these fish have definitely gone down in the water column. They're all the way down there at 14, which is interesting. And right now we're just trying to get their attention when we come into these piles like this. And they are running like the crazy fish they are. Oh, we might have a taker. There we go. We got finally got one to look at us. Boom, we got them. <laughs> First cast. And I'll tell you what, I can't help but think it, how all those other fish ignored it. But boy, this one got attracted to it. And you probably will still see the bait pop that's on it. There it is. You can see the bait pop that's on it. I don't know if you guys, have, let's do that. Can you see that bait pop right there? Absolutely perfect. That's the way it's drawn up. Excellent. So my experience lately has been that we really need to be fishing for shallower fish, but it is always, of course, hard to pass up when you see fish way down there. They don't tend to get as spooked when they're that far down there. Uh, these particular fish right here are roughly around 16 feet and they're moving around quite a bit down there. So they're, they're active, but as we just proved, uh, you can kind of deter them if they see you. Um, but being this deep, uh, they are a, a different breed and uh, they don't seem always to be that attracted to uh, bait. They seem to be doing something else, but we still drop on them because they do look good. So this guy right here, we're coming right on him. We're just seeing if we can get his attention. And nope. All right, guys, we're gonna change it up a little bit here just because I wanna show you the uh, brown recruits. This is a very popular bait. Uh, this is with a white head, one of the more popular hair jigs that I sell on the website. Freaking awesome. But we are going to put some bait pop on it. And again, what I think a lot of times what this bait pop does is it truly does give you the edge. Now, do I think that we're going to try some of this catfish stuff too right this time. Really mix it up. Um, do I think you need to put this on every single time? No. I don't, um, I think, wow, look at that pop. You've got the sparkle scales on that too. 
very important. Um, actually, we'll leave a scent in the water and like flakes will drop off. Um, but no, I don't think you need it on every time. I mean, if you got an active bite, I mean, why, you're not gonna do that. But when you don't think you have, or you, you think it will add an edge, then absolutely. So we're gonna try this bait out here real quick. Uh, we found some in the mud. There's a good drop. Oh, we got takers right here. Oh, there it is. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's, this is gonna be a good fish too. This is gonna be a good fish. And that was the second toss with that catfish. I've, it's becoming more and more my favorite, no joke. Great fish. Look at how that catfish is all over that tail those sparkle scales that is awesome that is a great view of what those sparkle scales will do all right so here's the fish guys this is a fantastic fish just caught in that catfish formula from bait pop um and you saw what it did those sparkle scales went from the chanel the body of that hair jig straight to the tail and it, you can tell that it, they flake off it's like that's what they're giving these fish to catch uh, to, to lure them in essentially. So that's another awesome, awesome fish. Wow, but we let them go. Now, of course, we're using the hammer. The hammer 10, guys, if you ask, this is this is just an incredible rod. Um, so check it out at my website. Look at this, we got these fish down here still. Um, it is a 10 foot masterpiece and you're saying, well, you're just saying that because it's your rod. No, every single person that's touched this rod, and in fact, I'm not gonna lie, they are extremely close to being sold out right now. Don't worry, we're getting them back, probably in about a month or so. Um, but if you don't order now, there's a real good chance they won't be available. Um, now we do have a lot of bait stores. Dunn's just came on board, which we're very excited. The Marion store and the one in Peevely, Dunn's has them. Uh, PTG has them. Um, some local bait stores in my area probably still have them. The Crappie, the Crappie Pro Shop and Just Add Water has them. Um, so take advantage of those guys because I'm gonna tell you right now, they have sold an unbelievable amount. So here we are right in there. We got a good toss on this one. Super sensitive rod. There we go. Great school here, guys. Now we're using the Comet from Sniping Braid. Awesome stuff. If you guys haven't tried yet, we have, it, it's been unbelievable the, the reception it has gotten. H-Tran, new fiber technology that truly is a game changer uh, in, this, in, this, in the braid world. It uh, is just absolutely super smooth. And it's such a small diameter, you can literally tie it to your jig and really stretch the boundaries on that rather than needing a leader. Man, I just get so excited casting that comet. It is truly a new braid. Now what I'll do here is I'll just put my finger on the braid right here. So I'm just, I'm, there's no casting now. I'm just riding the wind and we're just giving the jig a little bit of action and boy if they just brush up on it you can set the hook here we go boom uh, i'm telling you this braid is like this comet is unbelievable this is a good fish guys oh yeah stud great fish all right maybe not a stud maybe not a stud but still a fantastic fish and I'm telling you, it, it comes down to sensitivity. Obviously you're playing the fish a little, but the hammer tin, the reel, but that comet, that comet line, where do I have it right here? Let me show you. This is what I'm talking about. You guys, there's a 500 yard spool in this. Check them out. Um, I'm blown away by the strength, the new fiber technology that this has, that um, it's just, it's a stronger braid. It's a smooth braid. It's at that small, ridiculously small diameter. Worth a try. So 
anyway anywho we've got uh some exciting stuff coming up uh darbone um a lot of cool content blakes that we're going to be fishing i can't wait to bring that to you guys and um yeah everything's going fantastic we're going to have a fantastic year um so much going on and the rod sales have been through the roof so if you you know if you've been around with three pound fishing you know that we just got into the rod sales probably about six months ago and um the savage 13 is an incredible jigging rod and you're going to see that a lot on the trails um because that's where i vertical jig we've got a new rod I'll, I'll just go ahead and share it with you right now an eight footer that will be here within the next two months it's called the king's tail um you are going to be blown away by that line of rods that are going to come in that series um and i'll tell you we're going to continue growing the rod business because the rod business is uh it's exciting it's new it's a joy to design rods that i think anglers are going to freaking love and put big fish in the boat so but we'll be talking a lot about that throughout the season this year we're going to be fishing the crappie masters that is our focus the crappie masters we love that trail and uh you'll see us on darbone grenada Rin lake possibly eufaula um but certainly back to darbone for the the championship so i appreciate you guys we put a couple fish in the boat. We talked about bait pop, how important it is, the scent. I love that new catfish paste. So if you want to load up on that, you guys guys can go to baitpop.com. I, I totally intrigue it. That is a great family. If you know three pound fishing, you know I care about one thing the most. I mean, A, your, your products have to work, but your customer service has to be number one. If your customer service isn't considered great, then I wouldn't even consider products. Um, but I like to use great products and coupled with incredible customer service. That's important to me. And Bait Pop has that. So do a lot of the other, all of the sponsors that I use have that exact same thing. Power poles, can't say enough good things about them. Sniping braid, cornfield fishing gear, PTG, customer service, everything. So that's my spiel. I'll get off of it. Um, talk to you later. Love you. Have a great one. Have a great rest of the winter. Talk to you.